Hi Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we're going to find out what does the person on your mind think about you right now. Today is the 1st of July, 2023. Time here in Bali, Indonesia is 12.27 p.m. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. If you are divinely guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same sign. All right, spirits and angels, please show me for Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn, the person on your mind right now. What do they think of them? And this person on your mind could be anybody, okay? You can think of anybody. Ah. Seven swords and the first at the bottom of the deck. The sun is a major arcana, so this person thinks about you in a positive way, although sometimes they're a little bit conflicted. I may think you're also a little bit bossy because the emperor is a, is a bossy energy <laughs> or somebody who, who likes control. Um, the only reason why I'm reading the emperor, not in like a... I mean, it's it's something positive, yeah? It's something positive. But the five of wands here, it just feels like, you know, sometimes they think that it's being, you know, being the emperor, being somebody who is a little bit bossy or knows what he or she wants. All of that is actually a good thing. But sometimes they also feel like, um, you know, it's a conflicted energy, right? Five of wands, so a little bit like, yeah, it's good, but maybe for some t sometime, some of you may overdo it. I don't know. <laughs> it could be that. This is why the Five of Wands is right here. And we've got the Page of Wands right here. So the person on your mind right now could be a Fire Sign, Aries, Sagittarius, or a Leo. And also we've got the Death here in my verse and the Fool. So the Death in my verse... This person doesn't want your connection with them to end, okay? Mm, if it has already ended, they want to revive it. If you're still currently connected to this person, they don't want it to end, right? And the fool here, just like willing to take, willing to take risks with you, start something new with you. But maybe five of wands, if you're separated, then they could be feeling conflicted in regards to that. Hmm. And then we've also got the strength here, very strong energy. So they could be thinking that you're somebody very strong or very strong headed because the emperor again, a stubborn energy, right? It's like something about you, you, you will do whatever you want to do. Um, and there's some, something about how they think that they cannot stop you no matter what. <laughs> they cannot this person cannot stop you no matter what you will do whatever you want because you are possibly embodying the strength here and the emperor which is two these two are major kanas so if there's something that you truly believe in the way you operate things with the page of once in the sun you're willing to explore and you're very strong-headed about it and you will go for it no matter what so there's something about that. I mean, see, that's the thing. It's a good thing, right? The sun is right here. But the five of wands also, it may cause conflict, may cause, you know, like uh, misunderstandings. So we've got the nine of wands, the world here. They could be thinking that you're somebody who will travel or, you, or that you're thinking about traveling. The world is also can indicate someone very attractive. Look at this person, right? This is a very attractive image. So they could be thinking that you're really attractive. See, that's the thing. Your strength, you just being very strong, a uh, very strong person or very strong willed. Um, it's actually to them, it's something very unique, something very attractive. That's why the sun is right here. But then sometimes, I guess, again, so many major kanas here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So 
I think you really stand out, right? This person thinks you really stand out, and you you pursue whatever that you believe in, and once you believe in something, you just go for it, and nobody can stop you. Um, and you really, truly, you know, on the strength of four and the emperor here, once you've decided on something, you just go for it, and there's no no stopping you. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing here. We've got the nine of wands here. Hmm. They could be thinking like, you know, maybe I need to be a little bit careful with what I say to Earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Like, the strength here also can indicate some, somebody treading very carefully. Because I think maybe because this person does look up to you, right? Or maybe with the Emperor here. See, again, this energy is like, I can't tell them otherwise. Else, you know, I might hurt their feelings. Or they might get a little bit defense, defensive, not a wands. Yeah, so this person could be thinking that you, you can be quite defensive, but you're somebody who is willing to explore, generally very positive. They think very positively about you. The death in reverse, again, either this is someone you separated from or someone who doesn't really want this connection to end. I really want to see what else, you know, with the fool here. What else is in store in this connection? Where else are you going? Like, I, I feel like they are very... They're looking forward to, with the sun here, to seeing you, watching you grow, or watching you do your thing. Because there's something that you could be, something new you could be embarking on with the fool here, something new. Okay, let's see more. So this person does think a lot about you with Eight of Swords. But also this can be an indication of them thinking that you could be... You know, you could be somebody who likes to analyze things, four sorts of a verse, someone who gets very restless. Um, there's something about you wanting to constantly move. It's like this energy of like, can't stay still or stand still. <laughs> See, the five of ones is also like super busy, you know, there's, there, there's definitely movement here, five of ones. So they could be thinking like, you're very busy, you're multitasking, you're doing a lot of things. Um, seven of Swords here in reverse, this person thinks that you're generally somebody can, whom can be trusted. Okay, because in reverse and then the sun right here. But also maybe this could be you being somebody who is very careful, very defensive, afraid that people are going to do something bad to you. So you're extra cautious around people that you don't really trust or people that you don't really know. Four ones in reverse, ten of ones in reverse, and the chair in reverse. Three of pentacles in reverse. See, that's this energy. Like, when you've made up your mind, you're just going to go for it. They may think that um, it's a little bit difficult to meet you in the middle because, again, the emperor is like, I'm the emperor, I'll do whatever I want. I will instruct or order people around. <laughs> This person could be thinking that about you. But see, again, it's not really such a bad thing because of the sun here. A lot of good cards, actually. But, you know, sometimes um, our strength can also be perceived as our weakness or our weaknesses, right? So it's something like that. That's what I'm seeing here. It's like one of those couples, if this is a romantic connection, but this, again, can be anybody, right? Um... If someone is stubborn, you say it in a negative negative way, it's, it's stubborn. But if you say it in a positive way, it would be resilient or somebody persistent. Um, what are the other words? Somebody who perseveres, right? But if you say it in a negative connotation, it would be stubborn. So, yeah. So there's something like that. It's like, okay, I can't tell... Uh, earth signs what not to do what to do because once they believe in it they're just gonna go for it it's a good thing it could also be a bad thing because the fool sometimes can indicate maybe it can be a little bit risky right um it's like look at this this um this dog here it's supposed to tell the fool like hey be careful right and then this is you here oh i don't care you know i'm gonna do this anyway because i feel good about it i believe in it so something along those lines. Hmm. 
four of wands and love first, chariot in reverse. If you're separated from this person, they could be thinking, okay, currently, you know, there's a separation between the two of you. There's no harmony here. And they could be thinking a lot about you. And ten of wands and love first, overwhelmed with thoughts about you that I think they could be also thinking, you know, like maybe I should just do the best that I can to close this chapter. But then at the same time, I don't really want this to end permanently with the death here in love first. And I, and I really want to fight for this connection, but I'm not sure the emperor here, maybe because of ego or pride, right? They either could be thinking you're egoistic, you're prideful, or they themselves could be egoistic or prideful. And hence the five of wands, just thinking, you know, maybe it's a little bit hard for them to kind of cave in or eventually reach out to you if... This part is only for those of you in separation right now, yeah? But anyway, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, this is your reading. I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Feel free to subscribe to my other channel. It's called Chelsea Vlogs, my travel, tra travel channel. And I hope to see you back here again sooner than later. Take care. Bye.